Welcome. Uh, so what I'd like to do is show you how to uh, graph this ellipse, as well as identify the vertex, the focus, um, and the directrix, as well as you know determine a axis symmetry. And that's going to help us determine uh, you know, where is our parabola uh, going to be opened up or not. So when I look at this equation, the first thing I, under, I recognize is that there is a y squared. And that's going to tell me that my parabola is either going to open to the left or open to the right. And it's going to be my job to be able to determine which direction does it open up to. Um, and that's mainly going to be half of where the focus is. If the focus is to the right of the vertex, then the graph's going to open up to the right. If the focus is to the left of the vertex, then it's going to open up to the left. So first of all, I need to identify where is the vertex, and as well as then where is going to be the vertex. So this format is not going to help me out very much um, because we want to write this in you know the we want to write it in this format y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h, where h and k represent my vertex and p represents the distance uh, from the vertex to the focus. So how do we go from here to here? Well, we have to do our lovely operation of completing the square. So to complete the square, uh, the first thing I'm going to want to do is try to kind of mimic this formula as much as possible. So therefore, I'm going to keep the y's on one side and then get everything else to the other side. So I have y squared minus 2y um, equals 8x minus 1. All I did was I added an 8x on both sides and subtracted a 1 on both sides. OK, so now I have y squared minus 2y equals 8x minus 1. Uh, now what I need to do is I need to take this and rewrite it as a binomial squared. To do that, I need to create a perfect square. So to create a perfect square, I take my middle term, divide it by 2, and square it, otherwise known as b divided by 2 squared. So negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is going to be a positive 1. <sighs> OK, so now I have y squared minus 2y. Add 1, which I just created from there. And if I add 1 to the left side, I've got to make sure I add 1 to the right side. OK? You can now see that my um, uh, 1's are going to add up to 0. And then here, I can now rewrite this as a binomial squared by factoring it to a binomial squared. And this is going to be y minus 1 squared equals 8x, as those two are add to 0. Now, one thing we notice is you know, we look at our general form, it's x minus h, right? But now there is no h, right? So it's like x minus 0. Um, but we can still write it in there. And the reason why I did that is so you guys can see, OK, here is my vertex, right? x opposite of h um, opposite of k. So now I can say my vertex. is at 1 comma 0. There's no such thing as opposite of 0. Um, so it's going to be 1 comma 0. And then you can see, all right, so to identify p, that's going to equal 4p equals 8. So I'll say 4p equals 8. p equals 2. So now what that tells me is since my value is, let's go ahead and graph this. So my vertex is at 1 comma 0. Since p is positive, that means I'm going to go to the right. If p was negative, I would go to the left. So p is positive, which is going to be over 2. So that's my vertex. Now that's my focus. So you can see that, remember, the vertex um, opens up towards the focus. So my graph is going to have something like this, right? where now it's going to have a horizontal axis of symmetry, which is the x-axis. My focus is now at a coordinate point two units to the right. It's going to have the exact same y, um, y coordinate as the vertex, because they lie on the same axis of symmetry. And so I can say that the focus is now going to be at 3 comma 0. And then to find the directrix, the directrix has the exact same value. Remember, the definition of our parabola is the distance from any point from the directrix to the focus is exactly the same. So if I went over two units to go to my foci, or focus, I'm going to have to go left two units to get to my directrix. But remember, the directrix is not a point. It is a line. And it is perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. So you can see since this is a vertical line, it's going to be x equals negative 1. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how we graph a parabola, as well as identify the vertex, the focus, and the directrix.
Thanks.